Hi, I'm Jason from GraphicElephants.com and we're here, we're going to build some logos with Apparelopolis. Alright, Apparelopolis already sent us vector artwork, but a lot of people don't do that in our industry. They send us low-res JPEGs. So I'm going to show you how to recreate their logo. Now I have their logo saved as a low-res JPEG here on the screen. I'm going to open it with Adobe Illustrator. Now first when you look at it on screen it looks like it's actually a nice vector logo. But to show you, I'm going to grab my tool here to zoom in. Now that's not usable vector art. So to recreate this logo, I'm going to go ahead and go to a new file where I have everything set up. Open that. Go back to my JPEG here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. Now this is going to be on my first layer, which I'm going to rename as the logo I'm working on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the transparency down to 50 over here. Then I'm going to lock that layer. Now the first thing I'm going to do is recreate all these dots that make the t-shirt and to recreate this dot. So how I'm going to do that is open a new layer and that's a blue color. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that blue. Okay. Now I'm going to take my frozen layer, that's the transparency, and stick it on top. Alright, I'm going to start by recreating these dots right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go over to my shapes tool and I have circle selected. So I'm going to grab that and go ahead and make my first circle. Now since I'm working on a transparency, I can see through it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select that as a blue, so it looks like what I'm trying to create. And that looks about the size that I need it, so let's try to line that sucker up. That looks pretty good to me. So now that I'm happy with the size of my dot compared to these sizes of dots, it's fairly easy from there. All I have to do is now I'm going to have to copy and just continually paste and pop these suckers in here. Now one thing I do want to pay attention to is the spacing of the dots. So let's make sure they look nice and parallel as I go. Now I'm almost complete. We're just going to finish this off with the last few dots. Perfect. Now we have that one dot on the side, so we're going to just scroll over here and place him. Perfect. Now we're going to back out of this a little bit and see how that looks. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and go back here, zoom in, and let's turn our logo off and see. Yep, looks like it's lining up to me. Alright, we're happy with our dots. So now we're going to have to reset some type. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock my blue layer, which I did the dots under, and we're going to create another layer, and this is going to be black. Let's go ahead and label that. I'm going to go ahead and select my type tool. I'm going to type out the verbiage that I need. We're all typed out. I'm going to go ahead and increase the size. That should work for now. Now I'm going to select it and then actually it's Mylar Pro and that happens to be our default font so we lucked out. Rarely ever happens. 
next thing we're going to do is you have to make sure your type is selected like so. We're going to go to type. We're going to create it to outlines. Now that it's created to outlines, we're going to bring it right over here. And we're going to hold down our shift key and grab one of our boxes. And we're going to pull it to about the size that it needs to be. And that's about close. So now what we can do is go ahead and lay that right underneath there. Then we're going to zoom in to do the final sizing. Alright. Fairly close. It looks like we need to be a little adjusted. Perfect. Right there looks pretty good. That's about good enough for the customer. They wouldn't be able to tell if it's not. Now we have a little problem over here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is double click to isolation mode. I'm going to select this part of that type. And I'm just going to go ahead and arrow it over. Luckily this isn't a complicated logo. There. That looks about right. We'll back out of that. Let's turn off our transparent original logo and that looks like a vector logo to me.